So the question is, why did Jesus, the Son of God, God in a body, come to this planet? Why did he come to the earth? The scripture says in Luke 19, 10, the following, For the Son of Man, Jesus, came to seek and to save the lost. That was his mission. Now note this, he took the initiative. He came down. He came after us. His mission was to seek and to save the lost. Now note, all men and women, the scripture says, on the planet are alienated or unplugged from God. In other words, they're lost. You know, I thought about that. I said, it's a sad thing to be lost and not know you're lost. So if you've not asked Jesus Christ into your life, if you've not asked him to come and take his home up and residence up in you, if you're unplugged from God because you don't have that relationship with Jesus, then you're lost. Jesus came for the lost. Everyone's lost. Well, being lost qualifies you to have a relationship with Jesus. And so therefore, he's come searching for you and me. Man, what a deal to know that somebody would love me and care for me that much that he came after me. And so once you understand who Jesus is, what he did, that he came after you, came after me, then you have to decide something. And when you decide, you will either decide to ask Jesus to come into your life, to clean you up, and to help you to become the person he wants you to be, or you will reject him. You'll say no to that offer. Well, you say, no, I'm not rejecting him. I, I just want to put it off for a while. Maybe later I'll consider that. I want you to think of something. Not to decide is to decide. And so in Revelation 3.20, we read the following. Look, I stand at the door and knock. And he, Jesus means at the, at the door of your heart. And it's not a literal knock. If you hear my voice and open the door, I'll come in and we will share a meal together as friends. In other words, he desires to take up residence in you and in me and to do all that he came to do in helping us to become the people he wants us to be, to help us to be not lost anymore, but found. So I want to have a little prayer, and I hope today you will um, pray this prayer. If you've never asked Christ into your life, or if you have, uh, but you're not, you're, you're kind of still wondering, did I really do that? Then I'd encourage you to pray that prayer. And also, I would encourage you to send this uh, red glasses along to people, or to friends that you think uh, who may not have come to that relationship, into that relationship with Jesus Christ. So let's pray. Jesus, I need you. Thank you for coming to earth for dying on the cross for me. I open the door of my life and receive you as my Savior and my leader. Thank you for forgiving my sins and giving me a new, clean start. Take control of my life. Make me the kind of person you want me to be. I pray this because Jesus died for me and lives for me and lives in me. Amen. So, I hope you did that. If you think about it, then do something about it. <laughs>